My name is Stephen Kirshner and I am talking about my paper, Eight Housing Affordability Myths. Australian house prices rose 10% last financial year, with an even stronger rise of 15% in Sydney. While seemingly a dramatic increase, it is important to look through the short-run variability in house prices to longer-run trends. On an inflation and quality-adjusted basis, house prices in Australia have increased by around 2-3% to 3 per annum since 1970. This is enough to yield a doubling in real house prices every 30 years or so, underpinning a long-term decline in both housing affordability and rates of home ownership. The main drivers of rising home prices on the demand side are declining real interest rates, rising incomes and population growth. However, the problem with housing affordability is not that there is too much demand, but there is too little supply. The supply of new land and new homes is largely determined by regulation, which limits the ability of housing supply to accommodate increased demand without upward pressure on prices. The solution to the housing affordability problem is thus to free up supply so it can more readily accommodate rising demand. Reform of planning, development and approval processes at the state and local government level could make an important contribution to improving housing affordability. You can find my report at cis.org.au.